Hi everyone, so everyone has been pretty much requesting me to do the how to make a shirt out of a bandana. I'll insert a clip of this my video here. If you want me to make a tutorial, I guess I could do it, but it's pretty basic. Yeah, so basically, um, I will show you guys how to do that in different ways. Some of it's a no-sew way, but if you want to sew, you certainly can, and I would suggest doing it. Okay, so before I do that, the Tumblr quote of the day is, People come and go. Some are cigarette breaks, others are forest fires. Just thought I would do that. Anyways, um, before you're wondering like why am I in a bikini top, it's so that I could show you guys um, how I measure it and everything because I'm not really good at that. So now I'm just going to show you guys what you need and everything. So this is what you're going to need. Okay, so obviously some bandanas. These are usually, I mean, it's probably best that you get the biggest one that you can because it's just like more thick, covers more. See, these ones, this one, this one, and this one were three for 100 NT, which is like three for three dollars, something like that. Um, so fairly cheap, so the quality is extremely thin, as you can see, it's like sheer. So <laughs> be careful with that, and this is something my mom gave me, but I don't want to cut this up, but notice how it's a lot thicker, and the quality is better, and it's a lot softer. So whatever you do, just make sure it's a material that you're comfortable with. And then you're going to need um, some string, any type, color, or thickness. We're probably going to braid them anyway so that they get thick. Um, these are just uh, safety pins because if you don't want to use like glue or anything or you just want to wear this bandana thing for a photo and not really go out, you can just use one of these. This is optional. This is a little sewing kit with scissors. You also will need scissors. Um, but this is not really necessary if you don't want to, but I'll show you where you can use this. Oh my gosh, this looks like a penis. <laughs> Some beads. Um, I, don't, I had another one of these that just rolled away somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to find something to make it work. And obviously glue. Um, you can use fabric glue. In my video, I use, for that one, I use fabric glue. This is like fast drying and strong glue, so it's good. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick your fabric. Pick your fabric. So this is my bandana and I'm gonna open it up. It's like pretty decently big. I really like this pattern. Oh, this fucking ruined it. It says made in China. Like really big over here, but whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna fold it with the right side. And this already has, you know, this already is making its form. In my video, the shirt was like, like folded over back and this was tied around my body. I'm just gonna show you, hang on. Okay, so in the video, it was folded in half, the top bit was folded back, and it was like this. Um, and because there's gonna be a string attached here, it bunches up and makes this kind of like halter top. Like I said, there's many options. You could just kind of like, just tie it back like this and keep it as like a crop top. But, so, um, with this, in my video, I only folded a little bit back, so it was more of this type shape. The, this one's a lot bigger than the one in my video, so that's why. So usually, I would start off small, try it, see how it works, and if not, I will fold it back again, and whatever. But now, what we're gonna do is glue down the sides, basically. Just so that it stays, this will be like one fabric. This is already still pretty sheer, but it's okay. It's fine, guys. Also, guys, excuse my nails. I didn't paint them. Usually it's painted, but whatever. Okay, so. With here, because there's going to be a string inside of here, I'm going to glue like right here. So I'm gonna glue like here a straight line. So I'm not gonna glue this bit, I'm just gonna glue a straight line. Cause I still have to check whether I have to readjust this, so. Okay, so basically, all right, so. Every, this is all glued down, everything is dry, and I cut a tiny hole in each of the corners. Just the smallest hole, and usually what I do is what I did in my last um, one that I made, I just got string and I braided it and then I attached a bead, but 
Now I'm just gonna be using this because it's a lot thicker. I think it's really important to make sure it's thick just so it's supportive. And um, so I just cut off a piece. And I think the longer it is, the more easier it is to tie around your back. And it's also dependent on your body type. Some people has bigger busts and I don't have a big bust at all. So it's literally all, like all you have to do is measure and assume. So I put the bead, I'm gonna secure the bead. I'm just going to tie a knot at the end, as close to the end as possible. There we go. And then that should be pretty secure. With this, I'm just gonna grab it and like this, I'm just going to twist the end and stick it in the hole. And then once I do that, I'm going to tie it just to secure it again. Once again, I apologize for my icky, icky nails that I have not painted. I usually paint my nails, but I haven't been working because I've been on holiday. Um, so, should be pretty tight. What I'm gonna do is just cut a bit of the end just so it's clear. So it should look like this right now. And then we're gonna do the exact same to the other side, so. Now I'm just gonna try this on. So now I'm just going to tie it in the back first by a knot, and then I'm just going to tie it into like a bow. Trust me, it's probably a lot easier just to buy. All right, so right now it is tied on the back. I don't know if you can see. I literally just tied it. Um, so that's pretty fast, fast, fastened. So you could probably just stop here and have a top like this. But I'm going to like, all right, so now I'm just gonna try it when it's on me. I'm gonna grab this long piece of this rope thing, like a pretty long piece. If it's kind of hard, cause I left a space so that I can put it. I don't know how to open this. All right, like I said, if it's kind of hard to slip, the rope inside. I kind of just do it how my mom does it, where she just grabs a fat safety pin and just ties the rope around it and then just sticks it in the hole. Now you're gonna have something like this. Usually I would add um, beads to the end, but right now I'm just checking that it's the right. All right. So now it's now a halter top. And now you just have to focus on adjusting it. And then I'm just gonna tie it to the back. And this is what it's gonna look like. With my bikini top, it works pretty well. So this is what the back looks like. It's tied together like that. And this is what the front looks like. And um, that was pretty simple. Like I said, I'm probably gonna add some beads to the end of this. This, the thing about it is that Making a t-shirt out of a bandana is that there's always gonna be a chance that something can go wrong, so like a string or the glue might not hold together or whatever. But this is what it looks like and I like it a lot. It shows a lot of your back. Okay, so first off, know your body type. You know, if you have a big bust, you can adjust the way that you fold this bit back. Also with sewing, you can choose to sew the bits that I use glue for or sewing the string to the back just so it's more secure but this way it's perfectly secure like in the shirt that I was wearing in the video with the yin and yang signs I went out all day wearing it and it was totally fine so this is good it's all about just like being confident and knowing that you can wear something where your whole back is showing now I'm going to show you another thing that you can do but I haven't done it yet okay another thing you can do so for example this one um or any color see I just kind of use the black one because it's like really basic and a lot of people can be like, oh, I like this one, but this one is like my favorite because it's kind of like tie-dye. So instead of, you know, folding the back like this, you can do it the other way where it's like this and having the corner like this. But the only thing I don't like about it is that it drops down so low. So what you can do is just simply like fold it over just so that the top where your like boobage area is a lot thicker so it 
you know, it has a lot more coverage. Just fold it over like that and then put it over. And then it is, voila, a shirt. It is a shirt, basically, but I, I, I don't do that. Um, anyways, I'm sorry this was such a shitty um, how-to video. I promise you I can do better ones. But this is the kind of, you know, make a shirt out of a bandana. Like, I originally came up with the idea because I saw, like, I saw the bandana and, um, at a store and I really liked the yin-yang pattern and I was like, shit, I want to, I don't, because usually I use it for my hair if I use a bandana. And I was like, shit, I want to use this as a shirt. And then I decided, you know, I could just find a way to and then it was just pretty simple. It just kind of came there. So that's pretty much all you need to do and you are welcome. <sighs> Okay, I hope I filmed absolutely everything. It will be such a shame if I missed out a piece, but I'll let you know. All right.